All right, y'all, y'all know what time it is. It's that time of the year or it's that time in the game season where a newer game has come out. And we start back looking at past games of the prior generations, you know, Street Fighter 3, Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter 5, basically the one prior to it. And we start saying this game was better than this one in this way. Oh, this newer game is a little bit more of this. I don't like this. I don't like it is time. That time has come. Let's start comparing the other games and it's already been happening but y'all know so this all starts right here with ryan hart in an interview that he basically has coming up with tokido he says that tokido is saying i play a guy online lose 5-0 then i play him the next day i didn't change anything but now i can get it 5-0 Street Fighter 6 is a very interesting game. So basically this sparks a debate in the FGC talking about the randomness of Street Fighter 6 and comparing it to Street Fighter 5 because you know before in Street Fighter 5 people was talking about oh this game was random you know this and this and this and all this other stuff but now it seems like we're going to Street Fighter 6 and now people are saying the same thing. So right here MZ says Street Fighter 6 is the wild random inconsistent game that people pretended Street Fighter 5 was it's funny seeing the community that whined about street fighter 5 be forced to defend a much more volatile game all because they don't want to admit that street fighter 5 was actually better at something than street fighter 6 was delicious so basically you know how that is when you get to the newer game you have some people that were so tired of the old game when they get the new game they want to defend it more than the older game blase blase but some people are saying like man this newer iteration is more derpier than the last blase blase y'all know how i go and then right here we see mz continues he said mena said the game is random daigo said the game is random now tokido said the game is random i'm starting to think the game might be a tad bit random then right here we'll go to big bird and he says that for reference a lot of top players used to say that about street fighter 5 as well and then he also commented further saying however i do think it's more prevalent in this game because you're always one wrong parry wrong drive rush check away from losing a round and we've seen this a lot with street fighter 6 it's kind of like how people you know were saying v trigger was back in the day you're doing everything right then all of a sudden somebody pops v trigger then the whole thing can change now basically they're kind of saying the same thing with street fighter 6 one you know a drive rush that gets in perfect parry the next thing you know is rush down city is take your life city and then especially if they get you in the corner if you're in the corner and then you get hit with a uh, drive impact is over now one thing i want to add in here is basically i was kind of talking about this when street fighter 6 first came out and they were talking about modern controls and more offensive heavy gameplay and all that other stuff the way games are going when they're making it you know modern controls they're making you know the execution barrier and stuff like that a little bit easier for people to get into blase blase that's going to help with the randomness factor. I mean, if you lower the execution barrier, you lower the skill gap. If you lower the skill gap, you make the lower players a little bit closer to the players that are supposed to be the high level players. And it makes a lot more room for such randomness in games like Street Fighter 4 or all these uh, the previous games where people felt like it was less random, you know, and all this other stuff. It's because it took a, a level of execution that if you weren't able to complete, it made the skill gap between players wider so it was obvious that if you were a player that was not as skilled or not as knowledgeable as somebody who was like a high player then it was kind of easy that it was always going to be a situation where it's predictable the top player is more than likely always going to be the smaller player because it's, there's just some things they can't do the smaller player can't do and that's kind of how fighting games were it was something that you had to put time effort and consistency in to make sure that you can get to a place to where you were a player that could you know go to high levels and beat these top players and stuff like that but then we get to this age where it's like more offensive heavy you know and then if it's more offensive heavy you're making it easier to do the offense for the easier controls and then you're making like you know certain mechanics in the game like drivers and drive impact that's supposed to keep up the hype of the game and make the game more exciting but stuff like that is going to lower the skill gap and the next thing you know you have situations where people are feeling like stuff like this is random you know it's the same 
same thing with like, you know, how people feel about combat mechanics. Hey, I could be doing right the whole time, do this, this and that. And then next thing you know, somebody just has like this one special move that they can do and then everything changes. I lose when basically I did everything correct that my only sin is getting hit by like, you know, a combat mechanic. But now instead of having to rely on a combat mechanic, I mean, if you just have drive meter, you can do a whole lot. And then, you know, even if you don't like have drive meter, just to be able to do move like your combos your execution those are easier now because of modern control so you see how it's like it makes it a lot easier for like the starter to be closer to the pro you know with just how the game is being made and it's it's, it's functions that's kind of just how games are going so that's my opinion on it i mean it's just what we're going to have to deal with and that's what uh, what pro players are going to have to deal with and i think that's why a lot of times you don't see like you know a lot of your older players and stuff like that consistently placing like they used to when they were so happy you know the best players in the world because the skill gap is being lowered so it's more like you know uh, I want to say random, but it's it, it, it's more common now that certain people can come in, different people can come in, and others can win. Not saying that they're good and stuff, but it's like you know uh, uh, the crown is up for the taking. Not just because people have gotten better, which yes they have, but more, uh, but also you have to add into it that people have made the games easier. So that's my thoughts on it. This your boy Rex on Max. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Peace out.